What it do, what it do, it's your man now and I'm back with another vlog, man. It's another lux luxurious vlog coming towards y'all. Stay tuned. It's the realest vlog on YouTube, man. It's your man now. Um, so if you are following from yesterday, I'm still here at our shop location. I finally got me a load. They say it's ready. It's picking up here in Kansas. It's headed to Carlsbad, California. That's well, oh man. I hit you like a mother. But uh yeah, so Carlsbad, California, that is North County, San Diego. If y'all don't know, man, I lived in San Diego half my life. So it'd be cool to get back out there. It sucks though because whenever I go to California, I definitely try to give me a uh, California burrito or carne asada burrito. But I'm still doing this cleanse, this diet cleanse, and I can't eat. I can't eat the processed foods. I can eat the meat, but I can't eat no rice or no no um, tortillas, cheese, nothing. So it's kind of hurt my hurt my feeling a little bit. But I'm happy to be able to get on the road. It is five o'clock in the evening now, so after I get this load, it's still I get you know I push as hard as I can for the night, maybe. Depends on how I feel, man. I may just try and find parking while it's early and, you know, get up in the morning and go. That's what I'm leaning towards, but we'll see. I gotta see what time, you know, what date and time this load needs to be there, see if I can afford to do so. So, yeah, man, y'all coming along for the journey. Thanks for tuning in, man. It's the really vlog on YouTube. Stay tuned for everything, everything. I'm trying to see. Come on, man. What the information that Pick up 325 at 730 in the morning, but the load is ready now. So, yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. Stay tuned, fam, man. Enjoy some of this road footage. Off to a blue beacon as well. Like 30 minutes outside of um, the direction I need to go. But, hey. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Let's go. Life of a reefer driver. Peace. So this is what had happened. I made it all the way to that yard and they sent me away saying we got too many trailers. Saying we got too many trailers on property so they didn't want to take no more. So they sent me all the way back to where I am now. Well not here, they, they told me to go to their other yard that's over here. And I got off the e-way and realized that this is the same exit to go to my shop. Shit, I'm dropping this right on over here. So that's what I did. I came and dropped the trailer. I came to drop the trailer. Now I'm out of here, man. Let's go get this load. Let's go get this load, man. It's 7.30 in the p.m. now, just to get y'all an idea of all the running around I did. I done got this motherfucker washed out. Went another 30 minutes to go check in. Then they sent me away. Anyway, life of a truck. Let's go. This load was wasn't supposed to be ready. There we go. This load wasn't supposed to be ready until eight tomorrow morning. But it was done by whatever time today. It is not supposed to be dropped off. My first two drops. It's a three-drop run. My first two drops are in like Long Beach, LA area. My third drop, my last drop is in Carlsbad, which is North County, San Diego. 
first two drops supposed to be doing uh there by thursday carl's bad one is supposed to be there by friday it is now sunday right now and i'm only 1400 miles away so by my calculations what day would i be there i said 1400 i can do i'll be there by once wednesday so i'm gonna be there a day early as long as everything goes smooth and shit, you feel me? Um, so I'm hoping. No, see what I was thinking initially, because I thought it was only gonna take me two days, but it's gonna take me. I ain't gonna be able to get there till my third day. So what I was originally thinking was to get there as early as possible, and I'll probably be able to take some time. And head down to Dago to see the fam, you know what I mean? See my people. But now that I'm thinking about it out loud and talking about it, it probably won't even be worth it. I'll probably just get there on Wednesday, chill, and do my delivery the next morning. And be on schedule for Thursday and Friday. As of right now, I don't have no load coming up out of Dago, so... I still may be able to see, see the fam or at least some some of the people. Maybe I'll have a slide down wherever I'm parked at, have them come see me or something. I don't know though. Stay tuned for all that. You know, I'm gonna keep y'all in the loop best I can. But anyway, I'm done for the night. Your boy tired. It's probably, it's like 11 o'clock in the evening. So I get up and get out in the morning, late morning, and push. I'm gonna push, I'm trying, I'm gonna shoot for 600 miles tomorrow, but we'll see. Stay tuned, fam. Thanks for rocking, hit that like button, come back tomorrow. Love. What up, family? It's your man, now, and I'm back with another vlog. It's another day getting to it. Maybe it's another vlog, maybe it's another day. I figured that out upon editing. As of right now, it's a new day getting to a new dollar. Thanks for tuning in. Just getting this day going, man. We stormed on the brother last night. And now it's bright skies. Partially cloudy. They say it's a winter storm coming out this way. Going all the way from, they say New Mexico to, no, the Dakotas to Wisconsin supposed to be like a blizzard so hopefully I can beat that hopefully I'm going in the right direction to avoid all that but we'll see just about to bust out this pre-trip man I'll pull this back out a little bit later thanks for tuning in um enjoy some of this road footage while you know while I drive to the next destination got a fuel stop in like five hours four hours five hours somewhere in between there so that's probably when I check back in with y'all. In the meantime, let me do what I gotta do. Y'all be easy. change of events so yeah i did drive it to the goddamn blizzard windy as fuck it's coming straight at me damn fucking whack bro hey i'm trucking along it ain't icy out here it's just snowy and windy as fuck cold i ain't got to the point where i can't see ahead of me so i'm still driving for now at least i hope it don't get worse I don't know if, I don't think this camera do it justice. But anyway, I just want to fill y'all in on what I got going on. I'll holler a little bit. Peace. <sighs> long day, baby, long day, man. I did about 570 something miles. 
I definitely had enough time to do do some more. However, I decided not to because I would have been pushing my clock real close to get to the next loves. So I stopped at this loves where I'm at. Think um think I'm still on the panhandle of Texas. Um, yeah, this is how we're gonna finish off the vlog, baby. We're gonna finish off the vlog right here in the truck. So some of y'all that know me y'all already know. A lot of y'all, most of y'all don't know that I'm really into watches. I always have been since I was a shorty. And um I haven't really been wearing watches lately because oh, I got like four or five watches and all of them need batteries. So I just got that switched up. Um still on the battery side of the game right now, but eventually I'm gonna make it to the to the automatic watches. It's definitely something that's about to happen real soon. Get into the you know top notch watch game, time pieces if you will. So today's just pretty much my everyday watch right here. It's a G Shock. I got a Belova at the crib too, metal band. That's pretty much my other um, dressier, not a dress watch, but dressier watch that is also like you know an everyday type of watch. And then I got some better watches, um, more dressier, you know more money they work more money that I wear occasionally depending on what what fit I'm wearing um, that match but anyway I just wanted to show y'all that I said all that to say this I got a new one definitely ain't no luxury watch game it's gonna be more of an everyday watch especially when I'm out here on the road or when I'm working out check it out uh, yeah, look, that light kind of bright huh let's, let's turn that off Garmin Diesel Edition Instinct 2. What's cool about this watch is it's um all digital. You got it's GPS on it too. You can let me know when the truck stops. I can link it to a Garmin uh, GPS. You know, for the trucker GPS. I can link it and shit. I don't have one yet, but when I get one, I'm definitely gonna get one that I can be able to. Uh, link up with this watch the main reason i got it though is because of what i just said but also on top of that because it has a heart rate monitor on there o2 monitor it can monitor and give you feedback from when you sleep and shit like i mean i've been on my healthy lately I ain't been working out as much man still sticking on my push-ups and shit but i ain't been outside too much man because we've been cold yeah, it just been cold shit. <laughs> cold and rainy, wet outside, snow. Like as y'all see earlier in this video, I was going through a bunch of snow and shit. Come with a little charging cable. I heard it stays charged for like 21 days or some shit like that. But yeah, so stay tuned with that with this man. I'll fill y'all in a little bit more as you know as I play with it and wear it keep y'all on the loop this may be something y'all want to get especially if you want to want to um want to monitor your what you call it your healthy you know what i mean monitor your heart rate and your o2 levels and shit so yeah stay tuned for all that more watch content coming believe that but anyway i'll holler man get in the comments let me know what y'all think about that um let me know what y'all thinking about the channel and the direction I'm going with everything. You know, y'all can't really tell. You just kind of going with the flow as it's flowing. But I definitely got some plans in life. Definitely have some goals. And I'm the type of person that every every time I, I set a goal for myself, I, I reach it. More times than not, it don't happen as fast as I would like it to. But that don't deter me. It don't stop me from moving forward with tourism. I'm just that type of person, man. I hope y'all are too. But if you're not, that's something you can definitely learn from the guy, man. Set some goals and incrementally work towards it every day. You do a little bit every day towards your goal, you'll eventually reach that motherfucker. A lot of people set goals and then they expect to, to get results, you know, mad fast, overnight type shit. And that's just not how everything works, especially when you, you're an adult. You got real life shit going on with you and your family and all that. You can't work hard, as hard as you would like to towards your goals, 
But it's not about the, uh, I forgot who said it. I think I saw it on Instagram. Buddy uh, made a, a, um, a comparison to football. He said, if you think about football, the whole game of football is not all about touchdowns. It's about first downs. A first down, you get enough first downs to eventually get a touchdown. You feel me? So incrementally work towards your shit, work towards those first downs, man. And eventually you you make that touchdown in life. So yeah, that's how I'ma leave y'all on it today. Hit that like button, man. Come back tomorrow. It's the realest vlog on YouTube, baby. Peace.